Okay, Torah reading for Chukat, Numbers chapter 21, verse 21. This is the seventh reading. Israel sent messengers to Sihon, the king of the Amorites, saying, now, here, here again, here we don't, here we don't have Moses to it. Well, Moses is, what's going on with his leadership? Who, what does it mean by Israel sent messengers? And I, obviously, it's not, it's not literally Israel as in Jacob, because he died hundreds of years before this. So who is this? What does it mean? It says Vishlach Yisrael. So we so who who's leading who's leading this and who get who's the leader? Okay. Let me pass through your land. We will not turn her into fields or vineyards nor drink well water. We shall walk along the king's road until we have passed through your territory. So here we have another request to a different king, Sihon. But the same request that we made to Edom. But Sihon did not permit Israel to pass through his territory. And Sihon gathered all his people and went out to the desert towards Israel. He arrived at Jahaz and fought against Israel. So that gives us a nice little Yahaz. It gives us a nice location wherever that is. So somewhere in the middle of the, we're somewhere in the desert, all of a sudden Sihon comes and fights us. Israel smote him with a sword. It took of his, of his land from Arnon to Jabuk as far as the children of Ammon for the border of the children of Ammon was strong. So we actually won this war, but how come before we didn't fight with Ed, we didn't fight with Esav or slash we didn't fight with the children, we didn't fight with Edom, but here we're willing to fight with so we did have the ability to fight wars. Israel took all the cities and all the Israelites dwelt in the cities of the Amorites and Heshbon and all its villages. So where is this? Where is this taking place? Okay, Heshbon was a city of Sihon the king of the Amorites, and he had fought against the king, first king of Moab, taking all of his land from his possession as far as Arnon. So here we're talking about transition. So here, like, whatever area we're in, this Heshbon area, has been under a lot of different uh, leaders and peoples. Concerning this, those who speak in parables say, come to Heshbon, may be built and established as the city of Sihon. Who, who, who's, who's writing these verses? Who's, it doesn't say... And God spoke to Moses anywhere. Where is it in these verses? Who is writing these verses? Verse 28. For, for fire went forth from Heshbon, a flame from the city of Sichon. It consumed Ar of Moab and the master of the high places of Arnon. Woe is you, Moab. You are lost, people of Chemosh. His sons he has given over as refuge and his daughters into captivity to Sichon, king of the Amorites. But our kingdom is destroyed from Heshbon and has been removed from Dibon. And we laid them waste as far as Nofaf, which is near Mediba. Who's writing these verses? Is this Moses writing these verses? This is like totally like epic writing. This is like all of a sudden the Torah is changing its whole like this is why people when they read the Bible say that, uh, that Moses didn't write the whole Torah. Or maybe Moses didn't even exist. This is where the J, E, P, and D people get all their like they get a lot of their ammo from. This is where they get like a little bit of their arguments from, from these verses right here. It's so unclear what's going on here. Okay, verse 31. Israel settled in the land of the Amorites. Moses, now here we go, finally. Verse 32. Moses sent men, and spat, to, men to spy out Jazir, and they captured his villages, driving out the Amorites who lived there. So, so why did we need to spy it out? Like we just fought a war. But they turned and headed north towards Bashan. Og, the king of Bashan, came out towards them with all his people to wage war at Edri. So this is this is like a huge geographical area we're talking about. The Lord said to Moses, Do not fear him, for I have delivered him, his people, and his land into your hand. You shall do to him as you did to Sichon, the king of the Amorites, who dwells in Heshbon. They smote him, his sons, and all his people, until there was no survivor, and they took possession of his land. The children of Israel journeyed and camped in the plains of Moab across the Jordan from Jericho. So this is, we know exactly where they are. We just, we just took over a whole kingdom and all their people. No survivor. That's the last reading of this uh, book, of this Parsha, of Chukat. With so many questions.